Alright, hey everybody, Grim Green back here today, starting off up close and personal because I want to show you what happened with my squonk genius here. This is kind of a huge bummer. It works sometimes, and when it works, it works well, and when it fails, it fails miserably. I was going along and squonking and using it great, and then I went to go squonk, and the bottle on the inside, the silicone sleeve on the inside, it became unseated. It doesn't sit in there very securely, and it just compressed completely, and now I have juice coming out the bottom. It's because that silicone sleeve doesn't sit in there firmly enough. There's not a whole hell of a lot holding it in. So what I'm gonna do right now is deconstruct this and show you how the silicone sleeve actually fits in there. And we're actually gonna try to get this working because when it does work, it actually does work. All right, so I cleaned it, I took it all apart, and here's that silicone sleeve. This is what becomes your squonk bottle. Do you see this ridge that's running all all along both sides of it, there's just a little overhang of silicone there, right? Just a little bit. On both sides, there's just a little bit of edge running all the way around. It kind of folds over on itself, right? So when you push this silicone sleeve into its little tube chamber here, which isn't honestly the easiest thing in the world to do, it takes a lot of uh, pushing and pulling. That little silicone ledge needs to come up and over the top. Do you see that? There's like a Right here, perfect example. Yeah, that silicone ledge needs to come up and over the top of the squonk genius. On both sides, make sure it's on there nice and secure because that is the weak point. That's where this thing is gonna fail on you. You get these set rings right here that you push in here. Now these are supposed to hold this little silicone sleeve all nice and secure when it's all screwed down and together. Oops, again over here, that little ledge over there. You get another ring that goes on the inside. This is supposed to hold it all nice and snug together. It's not happening on that side. Here we go. And that's what holds your silicone sleeve in additionally. And when you screw this all together, the combination of that little ledge, this little ring in here, and then the threads are going to hold this all together. Got your base right here with holes along the bottom that's going to feed juice through the top of your 510. There's a fairly hybrid safe 510 protruding 510 pin on the bottom there, but it, for some reason mine moves up and down. And there's no way as far as I can see to like tighten this back up. It just kind of floats. It gets pressed down completely all the way when it's all put together, but when it's apart, it will float up and down a little bit. Anyway, and then we screw this all together. And then without really putting any juice in here, I want to show you how mine fails when it fails. The majority of the time, it does work as advertised. You can attach a squonker RDA on this, squeeze this, and juice will come up into your atomizer. And you have to be real gentle. You kind of have to press it up high a little bit and in the middle for it to work properly. If you get in here with your thumb and you press it too hard like that, what's going to happen is on the inside, if you press this too hard, it's going to completely pull pull the silicone sleeve out of this little opening right here. That's exactly what just happened to me when this was full of juice. This is just simply not secure enough to be handled as, as uh, you know, handled like that. You have to be very careful when you're squonking it. You want to squonk it without going like this and pulling the sleeve out of this little slot that it's in. And that can happen quite easily and has happened multiple times to me. And even when that little ledge is positioned perfectly and even when your ring is securely in there and even when this is all screwed together and the threads are holding it all nice and tight together, what happens over time when you're using it is the silicone ring the silicone sleeve in the middle works its way out. It, it starts off fine and then continuously works its way out as you use it. Even right now, if I just press on this, yeah, you can see right there, it failed. It just pulled out right there. And that is a super fucking huge bummer. It's such a bummer that I don't even want to waste the juice to fill this up to demonstrate the squonking ability because I know that silicone sleeve on the inside, every time I squonk it, it's just going to pull out. It continues continuously happens. Then pull all this apart, reset that silicone sleeve in there, make sure it's flat and flush all the way around, re-put in your secure ring, re-put on the base, secure, snug, boop, just one big squonk, and yeah, it's already de-seated itself right there. And that is a huge bummer. So no, I'm not gonna be filling up the Cthulhu Squonk Genius with juice, because I know for sure when this is filled with juice, the first time I go to squonk it, it's gonna de-seat itself 
under there and, and then it's just gonna leak juice everywhere like you saw in the opening clip. And that, man, is a huge fucking bummer. Now, this is a different story. When you get it fresh out of the box and all of these seals down here are perfectly dry and this is from the factory all screwed together and nicely seated in there, you can fill this up with juice, you can attach a squonk atomizer and you can just squonk to your heart's content. And then the first time you have to disassemble this to wash it, to rinse it off and you put it back together, it will constantly do the thing that I've just demonstrated four times in a row now where you go to squonk it and the whole bottle, the whole silicone sleeve unseats itself and it leaks juice everywhere. Filling this up stock right out of the box from the factory, it worked very, very well. It's a deceptive little product and it's honestly a little bit easy to fall in love with. I was having a great time squonking on my mech mod, but the very first time I tore this apart, I cleaned it and I put it back together and I filled it up. Boop. Yeah, that happened. And I'm sorry, to me, that's that's unacceptable. To me, this squonk genius kind of becomes useless. I feel like they didn't really think this whole thing through. And it honestly could have been done a lot better all around. But anyway, it's just kind of a huge bummer. I don't really want to even go back out to normal view and bother filling this up and bother vaping it. So I'll just say fresh out of the box, it works. And the first time you disassemble it to clean it, it will stop working. And it will honestly just be a huge pain in the ass that I don't think is uh, really worth it. There's a long way to go on technology like this, unfortunately, and I don't think that Cthulhu mods knocked it out of the park with their squonk genius here. So anyway, yeah, that's all I got for today, everybody. On the plus side, the squonk genius is fairly cheap. It's only around 28, 29, sometimes $30, which is pretty cheap, but honestly, I feel like 30 bucks is a little overpriced for this, especially considering uh, it doesn't work very well. Who knows, maybe they'll get it right on the Squonk Genius V2. Until then, you're just gonna have to buy a Squonker mod if you wanna Squonk. It's honestly a pretty cool idea, I just wish it was executed better and I wish that it worked. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. I'm gonna throw some links down in the description where you can check this out if you're interested. And until next time, yeah, let's just, uh, let's keep on vaping.